I am at a beautiful orchid farm in the Big Island of Hawaii, and in, I am with the son of the beginner of this company, uh, Takashi. So please pronounce the name of the company. It's uh, Akasuka Orchid Gardens. Thank you so much. Yeah. And so this is just such a wonderful place, and really you are second generation here in this business. Yes, I am second generation. It was founded by my parents who both moved from Japan. Um, the family background was in orchids and a lot of houseplants, but they loved Hawaii so much that because of the uh, climate and temperature, decided to move down here and make it their full-time home. Uh, and you know, I think as a, a gardener, I have orchids in my house, but I think some people are so nervous about them. So how can you help us to grow them so beautiful? It all depends on the orchid type because the, with the different orchid types are different. Um, they adjust to different types of care with it. So that's key, that's first step. So once you know what orchid type you have, and then you can actually do the care for it and have much higher success. Ah, okay, yeah. so let's talk about a couple of them yeah. that maybe the folks at home <laughs> can maybe have more success with. Right. So what is this beautiful one behind This us? is a, a Phalaenopsis orchid, uh, commonly known as a moth orchid. You can kind of see how it has multiple flowers out of this. Definitely a great orchid to start off with if you haven't grown orchids before. They can do well in low light and also like with uh, moisture, they actually can handle a little bit more moisture. Ah. So maybe watering it once a week, or it just yeah. depends about your house? Depends on it. If it's in a drier environment, maybe about twice a week. So it all kind of depends on the, the environment that it's in. Uh, yeah. And I know that's a very long blooming one. Yes, yeah. It lasts typically about three months on average. Wow, yeah. that is true. Yeah. And then Nate has a couple more yep. for us. Nate, yes. give us another one here. and We'll talk right. about that one. There you are. Oh, okay. which one is this? Yeah, so this is actually one of our Catalea orchids. So this is actually what my father specialized in. And he's over. Um, he's uh, created over 2,000 wow. of these orchids. Yeah kind of amazing right so um, and we specialize in this because not too many people were growing this and um, we found like he found a great niche opportunity to really focus on um, orchid that not too many people are growing. Uh, and then how would we care for this at home? Uh, this is actually a more on the drier side so this particular orchid loves to be uh, once it's watered, be more dried out. So ah. something like this is typically more about once a week on average. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. And such beautiful flowers. The yes. two-tone is yes. just remarkable. Definitely, yeah. It's, it's, and what's good about the Catalina orchids, the, also the color, the sizing. This is on one of them on a medium size, but there's also some that are bigger. Wow. It has a lot of fragrance with it, too. So. I thought I yeah. smelled something. That yeah, is lovely. Yeah. And Nate has another one for yes. us. Yeah. Uh, this is actually one of our more popular ones here. Look at that. This is our, it's an Oncidium um, orchid type here, but it's called a sherry. Uh, this one's actually our heaven scent. Uh, it's a chocolate orchid, so it smells like chocolate. I can yeah. smell yeah. that one too. Yeah, so we have a lot of visitors coming in here. Where's a chocolate orchid? They come and go ahead and smell that. And they instantly get hungry with that. Ah. <laughs> yeah. And then how is the care for this one? This guy actually likes to be a little bit more moist. So the media in here is a little bit different. It's like a more moss and bark mixture, which retains a little bit more moisture in it. So instead of being completely dried out, it likes to have a little bit of moisture in there. So maybe like watering about maybe once or twice a week as well. Okay, yeah. and then what about the light level? Light level for this is more like um, intermediate to high level light, So, but still filtered. So okay. kind of what you want is like something that if you have like a kitchen window with like a curtain, a sugar curtain that will kind of block the direct sunlight. That would be sufficient. Right? Uh, yeah. And then how could we get these to our house well, um, we, on the mainland? Well, we do have um, FedEx delivery from our business here in Hawaii uh, fed by FedEx two-day service. You can visit us on our website, uh, www.akasukaorchid.com and be able to order, place orders from, from the website. Ah, that is wonderful yeah. because we all need orchids in our home. Yes. And really to take care of them, it's very simple. Yes. Don't need any kind of big equipment or anything, really just have to water it and give it the light. Right, yeah, and then definitely some, there's a couple other things, but you can definitely see our website. We do have some great care instructions wonderful. as well. And then we also offer support as well, so you can email us and then be able to, be able to guide you through that process because we definitely want people to be successful as well. Oh, so. definitely, yeah. definitely. <laughs> well, if you ever find yourself on the big island of Hawaii, you have to come out here and just see all the beautiful orchids, what, take a walk around and talk to all the staff and get some more tips and then order some beautiful orchids to get to your house. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.